about five o'clock and I think I've walked over three hours today and one of those hours I was walking back from where I pick up my milk which is about a 50 minute walk or so usually I bike but I just didn't have access to the bike today because of the mix up with the keys and so I was walking home with quite a lot of weight so I'm just thinking about how like my traps are kind of sore at the moment but anyways let's show you this week's groceries so i'm going to start off with what i just bought and what i was telling you about that i was carrying home so it was obviously my raw milk pickup i order two liters of grass-fed jersey milk but they had extras, sometimes they don't. So just because I had an extra, I got another one in case. Um, and if I don't get through it, then I would just freeze it. But yep, I got the raw milk like I showed in the last video as well. So I was carrying this and I also got a bottle of water kefir because I'm trying to keep up with my probiotic intake, which used to be very high when I was back at home in Australia. And I was making my own milk kefir with the kefir grains. And my mum was making kombucha. I was making sauerkraut. So I'm really missing those ferments that I was making myself. But I don't, I can't really start anything like a long-term ferment because I'm probably about to move locations very soon so i'm trying to buy my probiotics as highest quality that i can um and kombucha is just quite rare so i thought i would just go with the water kefir again so this is raspberries um of course organic it's actually made with the kefir grains um and it's got a little bit of lemon and ginger hints of flavor in there as well so that should be nice but yes glass so that was very heavy <laughs> and then um i got i just ate a couple of spoons because i was really hungry um but yes this is just some unhomogenized yogurt just plain yogurt it's made from the same grass-fed jersey cows as the raw milk because they're the same brand um this is only 400 grams so it's really tiny but it comes in glass which okay but yes it weighed more and then my kefir also comes in glass as well so that was what was making this really heavy to carry but i haven't tried this kefir brand before i got um the gabarit kefir but they didn't have that so i needed to go with another brand and demeter is this brand but it doesn't look french i don't know where it's from it's got another language on it, but it's definitely European. Anyways, organic and it will do. It'll be fine. Um, okay, so that's what I just got today. And then the rest of the grocery shopping I did yesterday. So I'm going to go through what all that was. Um, yesterday I got another butter. So I've gotten this one before, the Legal. Um, and then I finally found the organic version. And some people were saying that it's heated a little bit, but not enough for it to be considered pasteurized. But I don't know. I just got this one this time. And um, I probably would have gotten the same brand as I got last week. But I they only have this one where I went yesterday. So I didn't really have another option and I needed butter. So yeah, this is what I ended up with. Um, and plus it costs like for this tiny 250 bullock, it costs like, let me just do, do the euros to Australian dollars, $7, $7 Australian. I don't know, but it's ridiculous. So <laughs> all the butter is really expensive and all the meat is really expensive. So being a carnivore in the French Riviera, maybe just for the Australian currency because it's so weak. But it's definitely difficult. But anyways, um, I'm saving money on petrol because I'm walking an hour to go pick up my raw milk and walking an hour to get back home. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, that's just my, my situation at the moment. 
So then I got some organic Gouda slices. I'm just going through the dairy right now. This is pasteurized, but um, I got it in slices. They don't put this um, in Australia. Whenever I would get the grated cheese, it would always have anti-caking agent, but I haven't noticed that in France, at least not in the organic produce, which is really good because I would never have bought it otherwise, but this is literally just sliced cheese, so it really doesn't matter. And it's great for a thing that I've been making. Um, it's very, very famous in Brittany, France, so I'll show you that in a second. Um, and this comes handy for it. And then the other cheese I got is grated Comte cheese. So this one is made from raw milk. Okay, then I just got a packet of preservative free organic ham. Um, this is just from the grocery store. And the reason that I got the ham and the slices of cheese is specifically to be making this. Wait, where did I put it? It's to be making these. This is called a galette, which is what I was talking about is typical in Brittany, France. Um, and it's really delicious, mind you. But it's just 100%. Okay. It's just made from buckwheat flour, water, and sea salt. And that's it. Um, I don't know how they actually make it to, to come like this, but um, it's very simple ingredients and it's like you're making an omelet, I guess. You know, you cook it in a pan with some butter and then you just put in what you like. Sometimes I'll put eggs and cheese or um, this is why I got this because I wanted to try the sliced gouda cheese which will then melt with the ham and then um, I got some organic tomatoes and mushrooms so these are local to France I don't know where these are from because it is winter so that's, that was like my treat is literally getting tomatoes, probably not in season. So um, I allow myself to do these things sometimes. But yeah, that makes a really nice, it's like a toasted sandwich, but without the bread. And instead you're using this buckwheat pancake looking thing, savory crepe. And then it all melts together. And then that makes a really good, a really yummy breakfast I would I would eat it for breakfast um otherwise what else I like to eat for breakfast is literally boiled eggs I'm going through a phase of eating boiled eggs I used to really like scrambled eggs and then I moved on to fried eggs for a long time um because obviously it's best when the yolk is runny so I always felt guilty about making scrambled eggs every morning because I would just be cooking the yolk but anyways now I'm having soft boiled eggs all the time as my go-to egg choice so yeah I got um, lots of pasteurized and organic eggs of course these aren't from the farm because the farm has closed for a month annual holiday can you believe it I went to it one time before it closed so I'm back to buying my eggs from the organic store but I felt really special going to a farm and then buying all the fresh produce that they would be growing and harvesting locally and seasonally um, and then buying their farm, literally farm fresh chicken eggs and the, the eggs on the shell was still a little bit dirty so you know that they're fresh and they haven't been shipped for a long time or something I don't know it just felt nice but anyway so I only got to experience it once and thankfully I videoed it because um yeah they're not coming back until the end of March which is yeah a month's time so these will be my eggs my egg brand for the next month um then I went to the butcher and just handed over all my money because the butchers here are just ridiculously expensive. Um, it is expensive for for everyone with with euros, but 
it's even more expensive for me with Australian dollars. But anyways, so how I'm doing it is it also because it's very close and I just, I can easily walk there and get more. So I would prefer to just buy everything fresh. Um, this definitely isn't a week's worth or two weeks worth. A lot of this rolls over to the next week. So this is about like two weeks worth of groceries. But for the meat, if I run out, then I would just walk back and get more. Also because the, the total isn't so scary. Because all I got was minced beef and one chicken breast and that cost me 50 Australian dollars. So this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyways, that one chicken breast makes two meals because I cooked it last night um, with a sauce that I got uh, this is becoming a little bit of a messy haul, but um, you should see a video of what I made with the chicken breast last night. And um, this sauce is 100% organic and made with whole food ingredients. It's made with um, organic coconut milk, and so it's like a korma curry sauce. And there's no seed oils, instead it's made with organic extra virgin olive oil and it's all local from France. So that was what I did with the chicken and that was last night, which I had with organic rice that I had bought previously um, and there's still leftovers. So that's probably gonna be my dinner tonight as well. Um, yeah, so that chicken breast has already been cooked, but I got one kilogram of grass-fed minced beef. Um, as I've shown before, they freshly mince it. And so this is what I got. So yes, one chicken breast and one kilo of minced beef was about 50 Australian dollars. Um, and that in Australia would have cost me $30 maximum, I think. Okay, so now we're moving on to these sauces. So I already talked about the curry sauce, which I'm already, I've already used half of it last night. Um, then I got a chili con carne sauce. Once again, 100% organic, all whole food ingredients um, and very high quality and no seed oils, but is made with organic extra virgin olive oil. And it literally says ex um, cold extracted olive oil. So, yes, and uh, locally in France. So that was something that I can make with the minced beef and have it with some organic white rice. Then I got some pasta sauce. This is Italian pasta sauce and no seed oils. It uses organic olive oil. Again, 100% organic ingredients. And to go with that, I got some, this is gluten-free Italian pasta. Um, this one is 100% buckwheat flour, which I have already made um, a little bit of and I tried it and it was so good. It tastes so much better for some reason than um, the other gluten-free pastas that I've eaten in the past, this is just really nice. You know, it's brown, so it doesn't look like it would taste like a good pasta, but somehow it does. And it's just 100% organic uh, buckwheat flour. That's what it's made from. So that's really nice, and it goes very well with meat and these sauces. And then this is, I got another one. I haven't tried this, but it's just 100% organic and non-GMO rice and corn spaghetti pasta. So that makes um, that makes it gluten-free, obviously. Okay, and of course this was bound to happen at some point because I'm right next door to Italy. But I got some organic extra virgin olive oil. So this is going to be poured over my spaghetti or my eggs for breakfast, whatever. Um, yeah, so that was something that I was definitely going to get eventually. And as a nice sweet food, same as last time, just vanilla Haagen-Dazs ice cream. Um, 
I think it's the best ice cream that you can buy that I know of. Oh, actually, well, there are farms that will sell raw cream ice cream and that's made with better ingredients than this. But if I can't find it, which I cannot, then this is the best option that most major supermarkets would sell. For the moment, I did find an organic loaf of gluten-free bread um, and it's soy-free and um it's lactose free as well which doesn't really matter but uh yeah so it has pretty simple ingredients it's just made with all organic ingredients and some examples are potato flour um rice flour quinoa flour um a bacteria egg in there as well more rice flour um there is a bit of organic sunflower oil but at least it's sunflower then psyllium sea salt organic agar gum and that's it so the ingredients aren't detrimental for gluten-free bread considering that they're all high quality and organic so that is all my groceries for this week I still have some foods that I haven't eaten from previous grocery shops like the um, butternut squash and a few onions from the farm that I bought a few <laughs> that I bought maybe last week. So yeah, if this seems like it's missing some, some produce, it doesn't look like I can make meals from it, it's possibly because I still got leftovers from other grocery shops. But this is what I got this week. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment your thoughts and subscribe to follow along with all my future videos.